Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the newest Narciso fragrance, which is Narciso Ombre. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this, then stay tuned. Also, if you're enjoying my content, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get right into today's video. Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about Narciso Ombre, which is the newest one from the Narciso Rodriguez collection. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Narciso. I already have three other Narciso fragrances. I have the one in the white bottle, Narciso by Narciso. I have the Narciso Poudre, and I also have Narciso Rouge. And this one, I will admit, I was a little bit late on the bandwagon um, picking this one up, mostly because I had smelt it in the form of a sample before, like the little one or two mil samples, and I just wasn't really wowed by it. I had sprayed it on the card that it came with, and I just wasn't blown away, and I was kind of thinking it might be um, one of those kind of unremarkable flankers that just wasn't going to be for me. However, I was recently in the city and I did have a chance to actually play around with this one a little bit, spray it on my skin, spray it on my clothing. And you guys, I actually really love this perfume so much so that after wearing it for a couple of hours, I did decide to go and actually buy a full bottle of this. So Narciso Ambre, the one thing I will say about this is that it does not have as good of longevity as some of the other Narcissos. That's the only complaint that I have. I don't think that it performs quite as well as all of the other Narcisso ones do. The reason for that might be that the other ones are a little bit heavier in things like Tonka Bean and the Woody Notes, whereas this one isn't quite as heavy in some of those um, thicker, denser base notes, like your cedar and your tonka bean and your vanilla. This one is more centered around floral notes, so that probably accounts for why it's a little bit lighter in terms of the longevity. That being said, I did get probably about three hours of pretty decent projecting performance out of this before it turned into a skin scent. So what does Narciso Ombre smell like? This is basically a sun-kissed yellow floral version of the other Narciso fragrances. If you've ever smelt Bulgari's Goldia, which is primarily a yellow flower, sort of a tropical, sexy women's daytime fragrance, this is sort of like Bulgari Goldia meets Narciso and had a baby and this is what it was. So this is a yellow floral musk fragrance. This has frangipani and ylang ylang, which are two, the two most notable notes in here. It has quite a lot of musk, it has a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cedar, and some white florals, and it also has a touch of amber. So as the name would suggest, you would think this would be um, quite a heavy amber perfume. It really isn't very amber. There's just enough amber in here to give it kind of a hint of sensuality, a little bit of a sexiness to it, but it is primarily that yellow floral musky daytime fragrance. This is your summer go-to out of all the Narcissos. If the Poudre was kind of like a signature scent and the Rouge was like your sexy evening scent and the white one, the Narciso by Narciso, is your winter scent, this one is your summer scent. This is absolutely beautiful for a warm day, absolutely beautiful for the summer, beautiful for hot weather. So you have those yellow florals in here which make it smell a little bit sun-kissed, a little bit tropical. All of those yellow flowers, especially the frangipani, kind of makes it seem um, a little bit beachy, really nice for the summer, really nice for the daytime, for warm weather. Then you've got that traditional Narciso musk which makes it very sensual and just very reminiscent of the other Narciso fragrances. You can tell that it comes from that line of really musky, beautiful Narciso fragrances. And while there is a little bit of vanilla in here, it's not very pronounced, the amber isn't really pronounced either. You kind of get just enough amber in here just to make it a little bit sensual and add just a little bit of sex appeal, um, but it's really not an amber fragrance. It is sweet, it is sun-kissed, it is feminine, it is sexy. Um, this is a compliment getter. This is a grab-and-go, perfect for the daytime. Honestly, you guys, I could probably make an entire perfume wardrobe with just Narciso fragrances and this would be my summer one. This would be my summer. And you could even transition this into the nighttime because it does have a little bit of that amber, a little bit of that sex appeal. This is also a compliment getter as I said. So I did receive a compliment when I was wearing this and it was by a man and he said that I smelt very sexy. So there you go. This is a head turner. This is a compliment getter. It's beautiful. It just smells very elegant, very summer, very sun-kissed, very sweet. Sweet, um, but still with that traditional musky Narciso vibe. I would say that 
If they would have made this a shade of yellow, it would have been a little bit more appropriate for the perfume. To me, this doesn't smell like an orange perfume. This doesn't smell like um, a significantly amber perfume. This is definitely heavier on those yellow florals. I think they should have made this um, sort of a muted, really, really pale yellow, and that would have been more fitting for the type of fragrance it is. Mm, it's really, really beautiful, you guys. Um, so yeah, if you like yellow florals and if you like the other Narciso fragrances, you will probably like this one. Would it be a safe blind buy? I would say probably in my experience, I think it would be a safe blind buy just because I know that I love all of the other Narciso fragrances. And you guys know me, I don't think Narciso can really do wrong. He is just a master of creating musky fragrances and all of them have this feminine sweet sensuality about them. I have already worn this so much you guys in the last couple of days I've just been spraying it and respraying it because I love it so much. Just a really easy grab and go summer fragrance so yeah that's my thoughts on Narciso Ombre. So you guys that's it for today's video. It was nice and short and sweet. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on Narciso Ombre. Do head over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I share a lot of outfits of the day and other little tidbits of my life on there and thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you guys all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.